All right. Perfect. So we get into parabolas. Uh, our next conic, we did circles. Now we're going to do parabolas. And this shouldn't be too long, I hope. Uh, <clears throat> it's purely algebraic again. Just like circles, we had to complete the square to create the equation of a circle. We are now going to complete the square to create the equation of a parabola. All right. So first off, definition. A parabola is the collection of all points P in the plane that are the same distance from a fixed point F, the focus, as they are from a fixed line D, the directrix. So the distance from focus, uh, focus to that point P, is the same distance as that point P to the directrix. OK, so everything down here. OK, just to label our parabola. So our parabola is going to have some important points. First off, you guys already know about the vertex. The next important point is going to be called the focus. And then the important line is called the directrix. So the biggest takeaway for parabola is to make your life really easy. The distance from directrix to vertex is A. And the distance from vertex to focus is A. So basically, the distance from vertex to focus is the same as the distance from vertex to directrix. And if on a problem you're given the focus and the directrix, then this means you know exactly where the vertex lies, right between the focus and the directrix. OK. Something not shown on this picture is something called the lattice or the lattice rectum. Basically, the lattice rectum are the two points that lie to the left and right of the focus or above or below the focus. It depends how your parabola opens. This parabola opens up. So this means that we would have a lattice to the right of the focus, and we would have a lattice to the left of the focus. So this creates the lattice rectum. And again, it's a point. Depending on your parabola opens, it's a point to the left or to the right of the focus if your parabola opens up or down. And it's a parabola, it's a <clears throat> it's gonna be a point above or below the focus if your parabola opens left or right. So this is called the lattice rectum. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and then again, just more definition of what you're looking at. We know that parabolas have an axis of symmetry. You learned that last semester when you were graphing parabolas. You can reflect any parabola over its axis of symmetry. The vertex we know is the midpoint of your parabola, and this connects the focus and the directrix. Uh, A, which is really important here, A is the distance from vertex to focus, or it is the distance from directrix to vertex the value of A is always, always positive. And then there it is. The lattice rectum is a line segment joining two points, depending on how your parabola opens, above and below the focus, to the left or to the right of the focus. And the length of the lattice rectum is given by 4A. And remember, A is always positive. OK. Now, here are the formulas for parabolas that open left, right, up, and down. So let's look at the first ones. If your parabolas open left or right, then some things never change. First off, your vertex is HK. Your focus can be given by H plus A or H minus A comma K. Your directrix is given by X equals H minus A or H, H, yeah, X equals H plus A. And your lattice rectum, you can use this complicated formula, or you can just say that, hey, if you have the focus, you're going to go up to A, and you're going to go down to A. That's why I put that Y plus or minus 2A there. And then <clears throat> if your parabola opens left or right, look at how your equations start. So if you have a parabola that opens to your right, we're going to use this formula y minus k squared equals 4 times a times x minus h. So this is if your parabola opens to the right. 
If your parabola opens to the left, the only difference is that the 4a is negative. There is a negative in front. So if you have a parabola that opens to the left, this means that that 4a will be negative. Also, one great giveaway of how your parabola is going to open is the placement of the focus. So look at the first graph. Here's the vertex, and the focus is to the right. Wherever the placement of the focus is, is going to tell you which way your parabola opens. So since that focus is to the right, my parabola opens to the right. On the second image, my focus is to the left of the vertex. This means your parabola is going to open left. And the same goes for parabolas that open up or down, which is below. OK. So here we have parabolas that open up and down. And some things are similar. Vertex is still HK. Now the focus can be found by having H comma K plus A, K minus, K minus A. The directrix is given by Y equals K minus A or K plus A. And the lattice rectum, again, very easy to find. So this time from the focus, you would just go out 2A to the left and out 2A to the right, making your lattice rectum the distance of 4A. And then look at the equations for parabolas that open up or down. Notice the differences. These start off as x minus h squared. The above formula started off with y minus k squared. So that's another way to tell which formula you're going to use. Parabolas that open left or right start off with y squared. <clears throat> parabolas that open up or down start off with x squared. So there's a bunch of things you can actually notice here. All right, and again, if you open up on a parabola, 4a is positive. If you open down, 4a is negative. Okay, so like I said, a bunch of things that you can notice here. Uh, so we will be given a general form, which again, we'll have to complete the square to put in a standard form, but you will notice some things. So if you are given the general form of a parabola that opens left or right, only one variable is squared, and that's kind of a dead giveaway. So if y squared and x is not, this means you'll have a parabola that opens left or right. The same goes for up or down. If x is the only variable squared and y is not, then this means you'll have a parabola that opens up or down. So again, just something to note, something to notice, right? So let's get started. And these aren't that, hopefully, that complicated at all. <clears throat> OK, so above, I have the formulas for you to reference and use. So depending whatever parabola we are getting, we can always reference this table above. So first up, find the equation of a parabola uh, with the vertex at negative 2, 3, and a focus at 0, 3. Find the two points that define the lattice rectum, graph the equation. So first thing we're going to do is find the equation. And one of the easiest ways to do this is let's go ahead and plot the points. Plotting the points is going to give us enough information to determine which equation to use. And it'll help us fill out the rest of what it's asking for. So let's go ahead and plot the vertex at negative 2, 3, and the focus at 0, 3. So maybe I can do that. There we go. I'll keep it with the fun colors. Why not? All right, negative 2, 3. Negative 2, 3. There's my vertex. And my focus is at 0, 3. Oops. 0, 3. OK, so here's my vertex. Here's my focus. And like I said, the dead giveaway is your placement of the focus. So this focus is to the right of the vertex. So which way is my parabola going to open? The right. The right. Good. Opens right. Good. So I'll just note that up here. We open to the right. 
And another good piece of information is given that is very important. We now know the distance for A. How many units away is the vertex from the focus? Somebody say two? Yes. Perfect. So the distance is two, which means you can find another crucial component. This means how many units away will the directrix be from the vertex? Two. Two. So that means if you go two spaces to the left, you get the line for your directrix. So I'm just going to draw that already. You have just found your directrix. So I'm going to label that already since we found it. We're going to say directrix. And since it's a vertical line, what equation will represent this directrix? X equals negative 4. Very good x equals negative 4. OK, we know a is 2. We know we open right, which means that we can reference the formulas we're going to use since we open right. And we are going to use this formula, y minus k squared equal to 4a times x minus h. And now let's go ahead and fill it out, because we know the center. We know hk. We know the value of a, so we can complete this equation. So let's go ahead and do that. And what is my k value? 3. So I get y minus 3 squared equal to 4 times, what's my a value? 2. 2 times x minus, and what's my h value? 0. h value. Remember, h, k are your vertex. Mm -hmm. Negative two. Negative, Negative two. two. Right? Negative two, three is my vertex. So that's my. Do we still have to put, like, how you put it right there, um, x negative and then negative two, or just x minus? You can put it as x plus two. I'm just putting the negative, negative there just to show you what our x value, our h value was. Okay. Because now when we clean it up, we're going to get the equation y minus 3 squared equals 8 times x plus 2. And there's your equation. So all we have left to find, because they gave us the vertex, they gave us the fotex, fotex, focus. We had to find the directrix. And now let's go ahead and find the lattice rectum, right? So this means that since the focus, since we're opening right, the lattice rectum is going to go above the focus and below the focus. And remember that you're going to go up to A and down to A. So what is our A value here? Our A value is 2. So if the formula up here is we're going to just going to go up 2 times A, how many spaces am I going to go up? Two. Four. Four. We're going to go up four. Because remember, it's 2a, so 2 times a, our a value is 2. We're going to go up four. So for my focus, I'm going to go up one, two, three, four. And that'll be one point for my lattice. And then I'm going to go down four. One, two, three, four. There's my second point for the lattice. So I'm going to make note of that here, that my lattice, because it's going to want the actual points. So the lattice is at the points 0, and what is that? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 7, and 0, negative 1. And now all we have to do is connect the vertex to the lattice points, and we have graphed it. So up and to the right, down and to the right. And there you go. And I think that's all the components. They gave us the vertex. 
They gave us the focus. We found the directrix. We found the points of the lattice. We got the equation and we know that it opens to the right because our graph reflects that. Any questions on that process? Everybody good? Okay, I guess we're all good then, right? So to find A real quick, you just counted how many you're over between the vertex and the um, focus? That's it. Because remember from the first page, the distance from vertex to focus is A, and it's also the same distance from vertex to directrix. That's always going to be A. Uh, if you said something, Luis, I couldn't hear you because you really mumbled. Yeah, can't hear anything. Can you hear me now? No, barely. It's a bunch of static. If anything, just, oh, I was going to say, just try typing in the chat. Yeah. Not the AirPods. Um, I, yeah, because I can't, maybe you have to turn your mic up or something because I can't hear anything. But are you good with this question? Is anybody out there? <laughs> yes. All right. All right. All right. Good. Well, if he has one, then we can come back to it. Okay. Let's keep moving. So the next one says find an equation of, of the parabola with the focus at negative four, zero, and the directrix at x equals four. So again, let's go ahead and graph them because that's the easiest way to find the pieces that we need. So they're giving us the focus at negative four, zero. So I'll plot that. Negative four, zero. So one, two, three, four. There's my focus. And then they're giving me the directrix at x equals four. So one, two, three, four. And that's going to be the vertical line here. All right, so there's your directrix. That's it, x equals four, which means if they give us the focus and they give us the directrix, what's going to lie right in the center? The vertex is going to be at the origin. The vertex is going to be at zero, zero. Good. So there is my vertex. Because if we place it there, is everything equidistant from each other? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Good. So this means that we found the vertex. It's at zero, zero. And this only makes sense because now the distance from vertex to focus is four units, and the distance from vertex to directrix is also for four units. So this means that our value of A is four. Everybody good with that? Yes. And then our focus is to the left of the vertex, which means which way will this parabola open? The left. Opens left. Good which means we now know which equation to use, right? So 
we open to the left, which means we're going to use this equation here. y minus k squared equal to negative 4a times x minus h. <clears throat> and now we have all the components we need. We know what h is, we know what k is, and we know what a is. So what are my h and k values? Negative 4 and 0. Well, it's going to be 0, 0. 0, 0. There you go. So you'd have y minus 0 squared equal to negative 4 times 4 times x minus 0. And our equation is just going to end up being y squared equal to negative 16x. OK, <clears throat> which means we can almost complete the graph of this parabola if we find the lattice points. So how many points am I going to move up and down for the uh, focus? Eight. Good. So that should put me here. Here, I can just go ahead and zoom in on that. <clears throat> so I'll go up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one point for the lattice and down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> and now before I complete it, I'm just going to write the exact location of the lattice points. And the one above is going to be at negative four and eight. And the one below is negative four, negative eight. And now we can connect our points. So out and to the left, down to the left. And let's just make sure we have everything we need. We were given the focus. We were given the directrix. We found the vertex. We found the equation, and we found the points of the lattice. <clears throat> That's everything we need. All right. Any questions on this one? So the distance from oh God, so many words. from the directrix to the focus is the same distance from the focus to one of the lattice lateral points exactly good that's good to know right yay <laughs> all right what else any other questions on this <clears throat> maybe we're making it too easy right no because then there's going to be a horrible <laughs> Nothing yeah. that crazy. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay. So now, like I said, we were going to come across one of these problems. They are giving us the equation of a parabola in general form. We're going to have to put it into standard form. And the way to do that is by completing the square. <laughs> no, no, this is difficult. Very nice. Difficult. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to rewrite it. So y squared minus 4y plus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. And now what I'm going to do is separate the squared terms from the non-squared terms, right? So like I said, if you notice the differences when you are using these equations, one side is squared or one variable is squared and another variable is not. So on here, our y is squared, which means what variables should I move to the right side? With the x's? Just, yeah, yeah the x. and the four, right? The x yeah, and the four, the, the, that's where yeah. we're gonna move. Good. So we're gonna say, y squared minus 4y, and I'm going to move negative 4x and 4 over to the right side. Sorry, I'm going to move 4x and 4 over, 
where they're going to become negative 4x minus 4. Okay, so all we have to do now is complete the equation on the left side. And the only way to do that is by completing the square. So if we're going to complete the square on the left side, we're going to take half of negative 4 and square it. This will give me negative 2 squared, which will give me 4. Now, what do I do with that number? Add it to both sides. <laughs> That's it. Add it to both sides. You'll get negative. I mean, you'll get y squared minus 4y plus 4 equal to negative 4x minus 4 plus 4. All right, and now it's cleanup time. Every time you complete the square, the left side becomes factorable. So y squared minus 4y plus 4 will factor to what? x minus 2 squared. Well, y minus 2. Yep, yeah. Squared. Equal to... Just negative 4x, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, <clears throat> so now if we match this equation with the ones above, which way is this parabola going to open? Left. Good. Opens left. It's because that x term is negative, right? Yeah. And the y one is squared. And the y one is squared. Good. Perfect. So now we can now gather information from this equation. And the first piece of information I want is what is my vertex? Two, zero. Other way. Zero, two. Zero, two. Remember, no matter what, X is always attached with H. So it's always HK. So my vertex is going to be 0, 2. OK. And then we can find the focus, directrix, and lattice later by graphing. So what I want to know is, what is the value of A here? I want to say wrong answer is 4, hopefully. Well, if this is negative 4 and the equation has negative 4a, uh, then this means a has to be 1. Good. Actually, let me erase this because I got to get rid of those. a is 1. And let's say it's something a little more difficult. Another way to solve for a is just like I said, take this negative 4 and set it equal to that negative 4a. And all you have to do is solve for a. So you would say negative 4 equal to negative 4a. You would divide by negative 4. And yes, we would arrive at positive 1. So a is 1. OK. And that's enough information to help us find where everything else is. OK, so let's go ahead and plot. I have my vertex at 0, 2. So 0, 2, right there. There's my vertex. And now, since we know that it opens to the left, how many spaces to the left will be the focus? One. Is it one? one? That's it, one. So right there to the left is my focus. And how many spaces to the right will be my directrix? One. One. There it is.
there's my directrix, which I will write down. I'll say, I'll do that over here. Directrix is going to be represented by the equation x equals 1. The focus is going to be represented by the point, what is that, negative 1, 2. And the last things to find are the lattice. So since our parabola opens to the left, how many spaces am I going to go above the focus? How many spaces am I going to go be below the focus? Up two and down two. Good. Up two, down two. Uh, let's see. One, two. That'll put me on the x-axis, right? <clears throat> so this means that my lattice are given by the points. What do I see first? Negative one and four and then negative one and zero. And now all we have to do is connect vertex to lattice and it's done. And we have all the pieces that we need. So you have the equation, we have the vertex, we have the focus, we have the directrix, and we found the lattice as well. So everything's there. All right. Cool. All right. Any questions on that one? parabolas. Sound like you hate them. Uh, there's just not a lot to do. <laughs> I mean, if you know the pieces, if you know which equation to use, then you're good to go, right? Okay. Hey, look at this. Last one for the day. Application. All right, so this is called a paraboloid of revolution, a surface formed by rotating a parabola about its axis of symmetry. If a light is placed at the focus of the parabola, all the rays emanating from the light will reflect off the mirror in lines parallel to the axis of symmetry. This principle is used in the design of searchlights, flashlights, automobile headlights, and other devices. Uh, conversely, suppose the rays of light emanate from a distant source, they are essentially parallel. When these rays strike the surface of a parabolic mirror whose axis of symmetry is parallel to these rays, they are reflected to a single point at the focus. This principle is used in the design of some solar energy devices, satellite dishes, and telescopes. Okay, see, so look at that. Parabolas are used in some fancy stuff, okay? All right. That's pretty cool. All right, good. One cool out of all of it. Yeah, word problems are no fun. But don't worry, these aren't that crazy. Right? Is this the only one I have in here? I think so. Okay. A satellite dish is shaped like a paraboloid of revolution. The signals that emanate from a satellite strike the surface of the dish and are reflected to a single point where the receiver is located. If the dish is eight feet across at its opening and three feet deep at its center, what position should the receiver be placed? That is... Where is the focus? So this means we are looking for the focus. Okay. So best way to do this is to actually put the satellite dish on a graph based on the information that we know. So I'm going to draw this lovely little graph here. And one thing we know is the satellite dish is how many feet across? Eight. Eight feet across. So we're going to put the satellite dish at its center at zero, zero. So this means if it's eight feet across, how many feet am I going to the right and to the left? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Start at, uh, zero, One, two, zero. three, four. It's just because we're assuming that the dish is just 
that's the center of the dish. It's starting at zero, zero. Okay. So that's just an assumption. If it told us to place it somewhere else, we would. So we're going four out to the left, four out to the right, and then it's telling us how deep the satellite dish is. So how tall is the satellite dish? Three feet. Three feet, good. So that means we're gonna go up one, two, three. So, so why are you why are you using um up and down so left to right? For which one? Just this problem. Like, is there anything indicated to do that? No, I mean, just think of a satellite dish. So, I mean, I could have drew something like a little satellite dish on a receiver stand, right? Something like that. And basically, it's in the shape of a parabola. So this means that I'm just assuming that we're going out to the left, out to the right, and the height is three feet. That's it. That's how we'll treat it. Whoops. Get that drawing out of here. Okay. Which means to form my actual satellite dish, we are going to have a point at 4, 3, negative 4, 3. And here is my satellite dish. So this point is... What? Four and three. That three feet is the uh, fo focus? No, we're looking for the focus. Oh, so all okay. we know is that on our satellite dish, we know it's three feet deep. Okay. <clears throat> so then the focus should be zero three? No. <laughs> we got we to gotta be smarter to find this focus. So we know the vertex is at the origin, right? Because that's where we put it. But we also have to find out uh, the equation for this parabola in order to find the focus. So basically, which way does this parabola open? Up. Up. So which equation would represent a parabola open, opening up? It's going to be the x squared one. Well, look it up. X minus h for h. No, it's going to be positive 4. Equal to... 4a times y minus k. Is that the right one? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Well, our work is cut out, is already easy for us because what are the values of h and k? Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero. Good. Because the center, we're putting this satellite dish at the center. <clears throat> And now we know that h and k are zero. So this is going to give me x squared equal to 4a times y. OK. And now if we can solve for a, we can find the placement of the focus. Because remember that a represents the distance from center, some vertex to focus and also distance from vertex to directrix. But in this problem, we don't really care about the directrix. We just want to know where is the focus being placed. So on our next step, we're going to have to solve for A. And to solve for A, do we have any values we can plug in for x and y? Yes. Yes. Choose one point. Which one do you want to go with? Or three. We'll use four, three. So this means we'll get four squared equal to four A times three. We'll get 16 equals 12 A. Divide by 12. You get 16 over 12 equals A, but what does that reduce to? Four thirds. Four thirds equals A. And what is the approximate decimal value of that? One point three 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 three. Yeah, one point three 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 repeating, right? Okay. So this means that we know our answer already. In order for this satellite dish to receive a signal, 
the focus must be placed how many feet from the center, from the vertex? 1.3. 1.3 feet. Right? Four thirds feet or 1.33 feet. So this means that if we zoomed in here, I would put my focus probably where that's one. So probably around there. There it is. There's my focus. So the focus doesn't have to be in line with the two um, lateral points? No, because how do you know those are the lattice? Those aren't the lattice. Those represent the length and the height of the actual parabola. So pretty much what you're saying is like it can be. So they could have put a point earlier and that would have been equal with the focus, not the four, negative four comma three. Well, if you want to find that, you just go 2A now, right? So how many spaces would you go to the right to find the lattice if it asked it? So eight over three. So it would be... You would add two, so would it be eight over three? So if you did, then yes, your lattice would be here and here, but it's not asking that. It just wanted to know where should we put the focus in order for this satellite dish to receive a signal? That's it. So our answer is just 1.33. Oh, okay. So the four three points aren't the lattice. Um, those are just the points on them. Exactly. Because okay. remember, the diagram I drew on the graph is the diagram of the satellite dish. Let's say you took it off your roof or just took it off anything and laid it on the ground and then measured it out. It'd be eight feet wide, three feet deep, and the endpoints represent the length and the height of that satellite dish. That's why the origin's at zero, zero. Okay. Any questions on that? If not, then that is parabolas, y'all. Nothing to it. If you know how to use the equations, then you're going to be just fine. So we have a lot of time left in this class. So if you want to start attacking your parabola homework, go ahead. If you have questions over previous homework, ask away. Uh, other than that, if you're good, then I will see you on Thursday. Have a good day.